and the export function can only be used for sending the configuration and file with the flash memory if your computer is not connected to your machine by the data cable then you can use the flash memory to send the files first export config let us do it when you click on export config it asks you where you will export just click on the flash memory and let us give is cfg1 this is the configuration file and the extension is mode if you click on save it saves if you click on export file then you will export the cutting and engraving file namely this rectangle cutting and the script engraving to the flash memory let us give cut ink the name and when you when we click on save its extension is also more doing so we exported the file to the flash memory and now we can load that those files both the cutting and engraving file and the configuration file to the laser cutting machine by the flash memory there is one more important point in here when you load the configuration file with the flash memory to your machine you will see the file name that we have given cfg1 on your touchpad and lcd screen file name part and you will select that configuration file name cfg1 and then press start on the touchpad to activate this configuration file remember when we did download it was doing that running itself but you have to run this configuration file if you downloaded it by if you exported it by the flash memory if you do not make it then your new configuration file will just be loaded to your computer but will not be activated this is the difference between downloading configuration and exporting configuration On the file menu, there is machine options part. If you click on machine options, you will have this screen. You will have two titles. One is machine options. The other is work mode. Let us move on in it one by one. In the machine options, there is motion card. This is the configuration file about your machine's main board for example if your machine is using Letro MPC 6515 then the settings of that board will be shown in this menu the second one, the most important one, we will use and change the parameters is the work table. In the work table, there are so many parameters that we can play around with. The first one and the most important, the most used one is the range, x-axis range and y-axis range. Changing with different machines, you have to change this range for example if your machine is 90 centimeters times 60 centimeters 90 centimeters x axis range that, that means 900 millimeters x axis range and 600 millimeters y axis range 
then you have to input those range x and y axis values in here. If you are using the software with another machine, a bigger machine, then you will input those values in here. For a 900 millimeter x axis range, in this box you see that we input 880 millimeter. This is just because after checking the mesh head can it whether move 900 millimeters or not, we saw that the machine head cannot move 900 millimeters and if you set here 900 then the head hits to the left hand side while moving so we decreased it to such a value that it will stop before hitting the limits the x axis range also is set with because of the same reason on the top of it there are pulse units you see the both of the pulse units are the same these pulse units if you click on the right part of one of the pulse unit you will see two values one is the move value the other is the need pulse value this need pulse is the pulse unit that your step motor driver is set to on your step motor driver drivers you will see some tables about the pulse pulses and you will see 3200 for example pulse and the switch settings for this pulse if your switch settings on the step motor driver card are set according to 3200 pulse then the move value for that pulse will be this one this move value is obtained after some tries how we do this let me give an example first you draw a rectangle for example and let us size it as 100 millimeter times 100 millimeter now it is a square 100 by 100 and when we cut this one the cut result will be measured by a compass to make a precise measurement if your rectangle cut from your material is not same as 100 millimeter times 100 millimeter then this part in the work table menu the pulse unit and the move value will be changed for example if you got 100 10 millimeters instead of 100 millimeters in the x axis direction then try to set the move value in such a way that you will get exactly 100 millimeters on the cut results but there is an of course mathematical way to do this by simply taking the existing value that is 110 millimeters and dividing it to the value that we have want to obtain that is the 100 the ratio is 1.1 if it is 1.1 times bigger then either by dividing this move value by 1.1 or 
Multiplying this by 1.1, you get a new move value. And check whether with the new move value, you get just 100 mm side length. With either one of these ones, you will get the 100 mm side length exactly. Also, the y axis will be the same, and the move value of y axis will be used the same value that we obtained from the x axis move value. Do not forget that. Do not forget to check that the pulse units of both step motor cards must be the same. If they are not the same, then you cannot use the same move values for both axes. To obtain a healthy working condition of the machine, it is better to have the same need pulse on both step motor drives by making the switch settings same and then using the same move values to obtain exact length measurement results.